In this video, I'm gonna show you how I took my MacBook Air from 2013 that only had 120 gigs of storage space in it and upgraded it to a full two terabyte SSD so that I can do any kind of production work I want on it. So get ready to rock. Hey Rockstars, my name is Lidge Shaw and welcome to Recording Studio Rockstars. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to record, edit, mix, and master your very best record ever in your studio, then make sure to hit the subscribe button now so you don't miss anything from us here. So a while ago from my studio, I picked up a used MacBook Air 13 inch computer. It's very cool to use the screen share feature built into the Mac OS to actually control my Pro Tools in the studio. But when I did it, this computer, which was very affordable, also only came with 120 gigs of storage space built into it. And obviously my first thought was, I gotta be so careful, I never ever download anything to it. I just install a couple of apps and that's it. So later on I discovered that OWC actually makes an Aura SSD upgrade kit that will allow me to have up to two terabytes of storage on this old 2013 laptop. That means I can actually start to install some apps, I could run Pro Tools on it, I could do video editing on it, I could even have my Dropbox working on there. OWC offers all kinds of solutions for your recording studio where you can keep your old Macs running in tip-top shape and still producing content like a newer Mac by offering you upgrade kits and special devices for connectivity to make sure that you can still hook up all your stuff. You know, one of the things about recording studios is when you find a system that works for recording your music, and you've got a Mac that works with it, you don't necessarily want to have to go get a brand new Mac if you can still keep your old system running strong and fast. And that's where OWC comes into the rescue. And they also have a complete library of support videos that show you step by step how to put an SSD into your computer where the old spinning hard drive used to be and how to upgrade memory and a whole bunch of other things. Okay, so you can see here, this is a 13 inch mid 2013 MacBook Air. So it's extremely light and powerful computer with an i5 chip in it. Also the battery lasts forever, which is great when you work with this thing as a remote control in your studio. And it comes with four gigs of internal RAM memory, which is probably fine for what I'm doing, although I may want to upgrade that if I can too. But if you click over here to storage, you'll notice that sure enough, it only comes with 121 gigs of flash storage built in. It's an Apple SSD and it's the smallest one that they make. So obviously I'm gonna run out pretty quickly if I install apps or if I try and download anything to the computer. Even the iCloud drive is already eating up space on this thing. So the sooner I can upgrade it, the better. And I do have Mac High Sierra installed 10.13.6. Click on over here to MacSales.com. Click through here to MacBook Air upgrade kits up to two terabyte. And you can see that they offer a full variety depending on which MacBook Air you own. Mine is the MacBook Air 13 inch from mid 2013. So I'm gonna click on that one. Now it shows us some of the specs. You can see that it's up to 16 times the capacity of the old drive by being two terabytes and twice the speed of the original drive too, which is pretty awesome. OWC Aura Pro X2. And then here's the pricing for the different drive sizes. Right now, two terabytes is the max size. OWC also offers the slightly lower priced OW Aura N SSD, which goes as high as a one terabyte. Now at the bottom here, you'll see that there's a whole round of install videos that will show you how to do this yourself. And you have to select whether you're a 6, 1, 6, 2, 7, 1, or 7, 2 MacBook Air. Now how you do that is you go up to the Apple menu about this Mac, then click on System Report, and then that's going to pull up under Hardware. The second line down, Model Identifier, will show you which model of MacBook Air you own. Mine is a 6, 2, so I can close that guy, go over here, and click on the 6, 2 video, and I'll find my install video for getting started on the DIY upgrade myself. Okay, then this also explains a few things. So it tells you that this is a step-by-step -step video for how to install an OWC SSD. They want to make sure that you've already installed 10.3 high Sierra or later in your MacBook Air on your existing hard drive before 
you install this Aura Pro X SSD. These OS versions include an EFI firmware update for your host computer. Now it says without this update, your new OWC Aura Pro X will not function once installed. So as long as you already have Hi Sierra installed on your MacBook Air, and again, you go to About This Mac and then pop that open and it'll show you that I already have version 10.13.6 installed, so I'm good to go. Then you can go ahead with the installation process. Next up, Aura Pro X for MacBook Air. Before installing an OWC Aura Pro X SSD in your MacBook Air, carefully peel the thin plastic liner off the top of the thermal pad. Do not remove the thermal pad itself. The thermal pad is important for your Aura Pro X SSD to function properly. So we'll make sure to keep an eye out for that when we open up the box here and see what's inside. Lastly, it says that the upgrade requires a Pentalobe compatible screwdriver and a Torx T5 screwdriver. The nice thing about OWC is they provide both of the tools that we need inside the Aura SSD upgrade kit box. So when we open the box up, we're gonna find exactly what we need and if you actually need to get them separately because you for some reason you ended up with one that doesn't have it or you got it from somewhere else or whatever you can also just buy the tools right here for 12 bucks so that's really awesome all right let's jump into this thing and see what's in the box okay cool so let's open this guy up and see what's exactly inside the box Okay, this just reminds us that we need to have 1013 High Sierra installed before we do the SSD install. And this tells us about the package contents that's in here. Okay, so inside I noticed that they've got this bag here and then this is actually an Envoy Pro that has a holder in it so that I think we can install our old drive into this when we do the install and use this to transfer over all the data to the new drive. Okay, this is actually the Aura Pro X SSD right here that's gonna get installed into the computer. And then you'll see that this comes with the Torx tool right here for the installation and a secondary tool. I'm not sure which one's which right now, but it also comes with a cable so that we can connect the Envoy Pro right here using the cable to the computer later on. And then it comes with some extra screws and some sort of sticker that we're gonna need for something. All right, very cool. Let's get started watching the video and get this thing installed. Okay, cool. So we're about to get started doing the install and actually removing the old drive from the MacBook Air and then putting in the new Aura Pro X SSD. But the first thing you're gonna wanna do is close down your MacBook Air after you've completely backed up everything that you need to back up. If you have everything that needs to come off the computer, you can back that up ahead of time. We will be importing all the old data that we can also from here back onto the new Aura Pro SSD once we get it installed. But one of the things I had to look at was just make sure that anything that was still uploading to my iCloud had finished uploading before I actually do the install here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and we'll get started. So a couple of things when you get ready to do this. One is you turn the entire computer upside down so you can access all the different screws. We're gonna be using these two different provided screwdrivers from OWC. Okay, one is a Pentalobe P5 screwdriver and then the other one is a Torx T5. Honestly, they look very similar, just slightly different sizes but these are gonna make it really easy to get everything installed. The other thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you can just set up on an iPhone or something the actual OWC video so you can walk yourself through the entire installation process, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so we start with the Pentalobe 5 screwdriver and we're gonna remove these two screws which are much longer. Then next you remove the other eight smaller screws with the same tool. And once you have all the screws removed, then you just pop off the back plate right here. You may need to brush off some of the dust from inside your computer. Doing it very gently, of course, with a nice soft cloth if you're gonna do anything. Okay, so the next thing they tell you to do is locate the SSD, which is this chip right here, and then we're gonna have to disconnect the battery as the first move. All right, and they say all we have to do is pull back on this little plastic tab until it comes free from the connector. Tiny bit tricky, but there you go. Now we need the T5 Torx screwdriver and that's gonna remove this screw that's holding in the SSD. 
Make sure that you've got a nice little holder to hold all these screws together so you don't risk losing any of them while you're working on this. Now that the torque screw is removed, it says you can gently remove this SSD from its socket. So lift that up slightly and just coax this out. Okay, then it says you can either set this guy aside or you can reuse it for data backup, getting the things you need off this under the new one, or just simply use it as an extra little drive and you just install that into here, into the Envoy Pro. And we'll need one of these screws to hold this one back down into the Envoy Pro. And then we'll simply use the T5 torque screw to reinstall this into the Envoy Pro. Okay, inside the little bag for the Envoy Pro came a rubber foot and two more screws, which we can use to secure the lid for this guy right here. So the lid of the Envoy Pro is gonna go on like that. Then we turn it over. The lid slides on slightly, and then you put the two screws in here. Then we grab the Pentalobe 5 screwdriver and tighten these screws. Once these guys are screwed all the way down, and they don't seem to go very tight, but then you can put the rubber foot back on and it'll keep them from coming back out. Great, so now this is assembled and it's ready for us to get our data back onto the new drive once we've got the new drive installed and the operating system on it. Now it's time to bust out the Aura Pro X and get that installed. Carefully remove the Aura Pro X. Make sure not to bump or remove this heat sink by accident and get this guy installed. Now this just slides in with the same way that the old one slid out. Just wiggle it in, get the Torx T5 screw lined up and we'll get that one reinstalled. When you do slide in the Aura Pro X, make sure that you line up the notch in it to this little pin. It'll only fit in here one way, so as long as you put it in the right way, everything's gonna be good to go. All right, now it's time to connect the battery back up. So we just take this guy again, slide it back into position, and we should be good to go. Now we can bring the bottom cover back into place and install it right back where it came from. Make sure to give it a little push to clip it back into place. Okay, and it's time to put the screws back. We go back to our Pentalobe 5 screwdriver and start with the long screws. Then we can move on to all the little guys. It's probably wise to stagger them so that you don't bind any side at one, all at once. It's also pretty cool that this screwdriver is magnetic so you can just attach the screw and easily get it in the hole. Okay, now it's time to flip the MacBook Air back over, open it up, and turn it on. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed seeing how easy it is to install an upgrade kit into your Mac and just how capable you can be for DIY projects of your own. OWC makes it super easy. Remember, they've got a complete library of how-to videos on their website and they take phone calls for support and emails and you can really get all kinds of help making it 
super easy to upgrade your Mac and get your studio in tip top shape. If you wanna learn more about OWC, just go to owc.com, look for the link below in this video, and please remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything from us here at Recording Studio Rockstars. If you have any questions for how to do this in your studio and you wanna just make sure it's right for your specific needs, feel free to drop a comment in below and either I or somebody from OWC will get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.